Hello everyone, Muzzlewood here. Just going to do a breakdown of the video I did for Zuma, Epic Zuma. I'll leave a link somewhere on the screen if you're coming at this video from the wrong direction. But yeah, I should have had this ready, so sorry about that. And, um, I didn't think it was going to be that uh, popular, but it was. So, And I thank everyone for that. Thank you very much because it's opened my eyes to what a viral, not viral video, but a popular video can be like. It's um, kind of scary in a way. So I thank you very much, uh, all the positive comments and stuff like that. So let's try and get through this uh, quickly uh, so we don't bore too many people because uh, it can be a little bit boring talking about this stuff. So I'll, I'll breeze over it. If you've got any questions, comment section below. I will answer them. I'm ha very happy to. So the program in here is called uh, Nuke and it's brought out by the Foundry and I'm using the non-commercial version and anyone can use that. Uh, obviously you should not make money from it and all that kind of stuff, but basically you're getting what people that work at Weta Digital, doing all the cool films, Captain America, Star Wars, all those guys will mostly be using Nuke. So you can be using what they're using. And I use this, I use this for a living as well. I'm in film and TV. So yeah, go check it out if you're interested in that. Uh, bulk of the work went up here in rotoing out the man himself. I managed to find myself a 210 frame loop of Zuma during the end chords. Dun, 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 dun. And that's, I think, the only reason why I made it possible as well. If I couldn't find that, it would probably would have been too long to do with the time I've got in my life. Uh, kids and stuff. So. All of this here is matte work to avoid, hopefully avoid rotoing Zuma completely. Uh, the only uh, roto I needed to do was around here somewhere. Hello. There it is. I did have to roto one shoe and two legs completely. The rest I managed to scrape together just through uh, Luma Keys. Luma keys for the shoes and diff keys for the top of the body. Diff key there, sorry. There it is. I managed to get that through the diff key. So that is the mat. Turned out a little bit something like that. And after that, we go into 3D space, which is very cool about Nuke. We've got a zoomer on a card here. There he is hovering in space. And you can see there the camera that I used in my scene to film him. And if I go across here, I'll just disconnect that for a second. View here. There is the nether. So the nether was exported through a program called J JMC to OBJ. And the website you can get that from is jmc to obj.net and it does a pretty good job at cutting out a chunk of whatever geometry you would like to bring into a 3D program. Now Nuke's not ultimately a 3D program but it can import geo and textures and that program did exactly what it needed to do for me which was great. I just needed to add some moving fire, make the lava move which was pretty easy because they give you a texture up here, you can find where the lava is, make it move, you can see that moving there, and go from there. Um, I also added some actual fire in the nether just to spruce it up a little bit, and then I also added some, the these boxes closer to Zuma were made by me as well, just to give it a bit more life. So that is the 3D side of things. Pretty cool. So you can add lights and light this light this environment and place things wherever you want and and film it however you like. So the camera starts as Zuma in Zuma's first position, goes off and then comes back to the first position. Plug all this back in. And look at it there. <clears throat> This is what it looks like raw. 
pretty bland. And actually, I think I, it's a bit darker on the YouTube video, so you might be seeing it a bit more, a bit more uh, in depth now. If we just go up here a little bit more. After that, I just started doing some grading. So obviously, a lot of stuff is too dark. So we bring up the lava. There's the lava streams coming down. Bit of work on the glowstone. There's the lava ocean. Bit of a spotlight around Zuma. Slight one around his feet just to uh, break him off the background. And this is what kind of brought it to life the most. Now I'll just show you here one. Let that draw on. What this does is just added shadows to the frame. I'll turn that on and off. You can see down here, this looks a little bit more realistic. Back in the caves here. Done quite well, so I'm glad that worked. Next was a bit of depth. A bit of depth hazing, which always adds a nice bit of scale. Show you that over. After that was a bit of smoke. A bit of lava, lava smoke at the bottom. And some flying embers around. There was a lot more stuff I wanted to do, but it started to get a little bit heavy. Uh, so yeah, like a shock wave coming out when he when he did the first headbang of the of the cord. And I almost thought about tracking his eyes and gave a half a particle effect coming off his eyes. But I thought that might fit a bit too much. Uh, so after that, glow. Glow helps everything. Adds that hotness, hot feeling of the nether, and just a vignette around the outside. So that, that my friends, is a bit of a breakdown of the, the Epic Zuma video. I'm glad everyone liked it. And, and yeah, I appreciate all the, the lovely feedback, links to everything that I've talked about in the description below, and just to keep it short, I'll leave it there, but happy to answer any questions about Nuke and uh, all the process in general. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.